Okay, so we tried the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder by Blackmagic right out of the box to see if it would uh, interface right with our Mac without doing anything else, and uh, that was folly. Hi, again, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual, and uh, we decided to load on the drivers, which is never a bad idea. We did it from the CD, but it's always best practices to um, download it from the website if you're, you know, updates pretty much come fast and furious, especially for new devices like this. So, um, here's what we found when we actually loaded the drivers onto the Mac, and um, here you'll see we have it uh, connected to the SDI connector, um, to a Thunderbolt cable, spiral, 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 um, right here to a late 2011 edition of a MacBook Pro. You'll also see that uh, below that there is... Um, not only a comb, because good grooming is important, but an HDMI to SDI battery converter, which is also another marvelous device from uh, Blackmagic. And though we love their products, um, we are uh, getting no promotional consideration from Blackmagic Design. Um, we're only highlighting things that we find that work, work very well, are at a great price point and are extremely reliable. Love the construction of this. All metal design no power cord to lose. It's powered completely by the Thunderbolt bus. It allows both SDI in and HDMI in. So you're probably wondering why the heck am I using this converter if it takes HDMI in from your camera anyways? Why? Well, um, in design multiple points of failure is a bad thing. In testing it's a great thing if you want to see what would break because you never know who's going to hook up water or how. So, um, you know, there it is, completely redundant. So, let's see what happens. Um, we have it hooked up here to a uh, kind of a early model Sony HDV camera. It's coming out HDMI going through the converter, doing a whole bunch of stuff. We're shooting a trash can. Um, and, uh, oh look, another comb. This is incredible. Anyway, um, let's see what happens when we launch Flash Media Live Encoder. Here we are at MacBook Pro. Let's look for Flash Media Live Encoder and see what we get. Okay, that popped up uh, pretty quickly. Um, we see that it has defaulted to FaceTime. And let's click on here, see uh, what we get in the drop down list. Wow, okay. A lot of options from uh, NTC PAL to 1080, let's see the highest here. Is there a 1080p 30? See a 1080p 24, which looks like it's uh, highest output rate. Also a 1080i 60. This would probably match the camera best, so we're going to click over to that and we get a black screen so let's see what's going on here let's see Got preview Yeah, hi. Alrighty. So, looking at the second attempt, still yet no video, but looks like we're getting audio coming through, so we'll try and figure out exactly what's going on here. <laughs> 